Having trouble scoring in Madden 23? Yeah. No! Whether you're constantly getting sacked, oh my God. having trouble beating man coverage, or just want a more explosive offense, so if you want to see what offense I'm using to get results like this, Stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another Glitch Routes video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over Glitch Routes that are all found in the Kansas City Chiefs Offensive Playbook. This is probably the next playbook that I'm going to be doing videos from uh, up till the end of Madden 23 and into Madden 24. I might also do the Cardinals down the line. But as always, I try to do... This is a part of a monthly series where I try to do uh, five Glitch Routes from a specific playbook uh, that I'm going to either be using or I'm already using. Uh, last month, I did the Pittsburgh Steelers. So if you guys want to check that out, that's the playbook that I'm currently using. I will have a link in the description as well as on-screen pops at the end of the video. So stick around for that. But if you want me to continue this series, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section as it helps out the video and the channel. And if you want to see your favorite playbook next, let me know in the comment section what playbook you would like me to use. Uh, and then maybe that's the next one I'll use. I'm thinking maybe Lions, thinking maybe Cardinals. I'm not really sure. So like I said, let me know in the comment section what playbook you'd like to see some glitch routes from. Other than that, I did just put out the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, ebook. So if you guys need any help or more money plays or more glitch routes for your offense like this, you can check out this or any of my ebooks. All you have to do is click the link in the description or the top end comment to have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download. Now, the first play can be found in the single back deuce close, and the play itself is called the PA deep read. Now, this has two option routes on the play, but those routes rarely react the exact same way. We're going to go and we're going to choose that play on defense. We're going to go ahead and we're going to pick a cover zero concept because this is a cover zero one play touchdown. Now, when it comes to this play, this is a very unique route with two option routes on both sides that rarely will do the exact same thing and go deep like I want them to. But when they do, typically it's a very easy one-play touchdown. As you can see, this guy just runs right past his defender for an easy one-play score from 60 yards away. The further you are away from the end zone, the better because you really want to just wait for this guy to run around his defender and then basically just lob up the pass. And you can see he gets right past him right away. The receiver on the other side does not run the deep route, though. He runs the shorter version. He runs the comeback route. He'll travel about 10 to 15 yards and stop and come back to the ball. It's actually closer to 20 yards, but still, if you lob past this by mistake, you're more than likely going to throw an interception because the ball is going to be in the air too long. So you really have to know which receiver is going deep and which one's cutting it off short. And I think it's really based off of the fact that this receiver doesn't get past the cornerback. It would make no sense for him to continue to run this route based off the fact that the cornerback doesn't bite on the shorter route so you basically have the best of both worlds with one receiver getting open short and one receiver getting open deep next up we have another unique route out of a very rare formation called the single back deuce y flex the play itself is going to be called the pa deep cross and this is another man zero beating concept so we're going to go over and pick the overstorm brave one more time the route that i'm going to focus on this play is going to be the x route but you'll notice that the blocking setup on this is not necessarily ideal so i'm going to go ahead and re-block the tight end and the running back because I don't really like all that extra motion and stuff that they're doing. Something else you're probably going to have to do is have the tight end and running back going out in a pattern because you'll notice on that last play that based off the fact that these guys were blocking, this deep cover safety knows he has no responsibility, so he's going to drop back and become like a single high safety, making this route not work. So to force these safeties into coverage, you're going to have to put the tight end on a drag and put the running back on a check and release. The check and release is a pattern that will hold the safety, but at the same time, it will act as a blocker. So if you have a man zero blitz, he will pick somebody up like he did here, allowing time for this guy to basically get over the top and get a very big play. As he did get a little bit of an arm tackle on Tony, but Tony was still gone. So you can see how Tony kind of just jogs up to him like he's going to block him or something before the defender completely flips his hips to get into like a sprinting position, but he stops dead in his tracks. So doing this is what allows Tony, who never really stops, to basically keep his acceleration and run right past the defense 
defensive back, and that's why this play works so well. And you can also see we get a little bit of extra contact down the field from both the receiver and the DB, making it even easier. Now I'm going to do this one more time just to show you guys this is not a rare occurrence and that the DB will always stop and lose his acceleration, making this a very easy one-play touchdown for a, any decent speed receiver like Kadarius Tony, You don't really have to make any adjustments to the blocking as long as the defenders bite on the play action to the running back. And if they do, you'll get e open even more. But at the end of the day, I find that it's a little bit risky as if your opponent guesses pass, they're going to run right after the quarterback because this blocking structure doesn't set up very well. Now, the next play is probably more of a formational glitch, and it's something I've gone over in a lot of different formations against man coverage this year. The formation I'm going to use today is going to be the pistol wing flex close, which is one of my all-time favorite formations that I'll probably put out a video about in the near future. The play itself, though, is going to be the wide receiver under, and I could probably do this with just about any play in this formation because it's a formational glitch, not necessarily a route glitch. But let's go ahead and let's pick the wide receiver under. On defense, once again, we will go over Storm Brave. I've said in previous videos, and I've showed this quite a bit, that any formation against man coverage where you have receivers that are really close together, there's a very light, high likelihood that you can glitch them out with routes that basically intersect. So I'm going to basically do that here. I'm going to put my running back on a pass block and I'm going to put the X route here on a slant, which is why I said this can probably be done out of any play in this formation because you can create a slant and a fade with the two routes that I'm going to use. And you'll see how they'll basically just run into one another and the B route will get right past the defender based off the fact that anytime a receiver runs into a defensive player like he does here, for whatever reason, the defensive player loses acceleration and the offensive player does not. Now, I find that this setup is more consistent if you put the X route on a slant, which is why I said you can kind of create this look from just about any play in the formation. And I'll go ahead and I'll do that now as I put the running back on a check and release. You can see once again, he runs into, it's the fade and the position that really makes him run into the defensive back, which is why I said this is more of a formational glitch than a glitch on the play. Now, the next play I'm going to show is going to be out of the gun deuce close, the RPO read flat wheel, which has been, you know, a plague in Madden throughout most of the year. As does this play feel like it was mostly patched? I'll go ahead and I'll pick random over. I touched on this play a lot in the past. At times, the, the RB route here used to get open, but you can see, I mean, it still gets open quite a bit. Still a pretty good play, but it used to get open. It used to really glitch out man coverages and stuff like that, which it really doesn't do as much anymore. You can see there, that was actually a cover four. I mean, it's still a really good play, obviously, but it's not as glitchy as it used to be. Like I said, man coverage and stuff like that. A lot of different defenses used to not cover this at all. So I didn't really want to include this in the video. The B route here is also a very good play. It's still a very good play, but like I said, I don't feel it's as effective. I do feel like man coverage does a little bit better of a job as you can see I mean, it still gets open outside of it it's still a really hard to stop play so i did want to include it in this video next up we have one more play on the single back and that is on the single back tight way off and the play itself is the out in up so we're going to pick that this is another cover zero one play touchdown so we're going to pick overstone brave one more time the route that i'm going to be watching is going to be the x route but this is a route that is kind of 50 50 you really have to watch to see if the cornerback bites on the double move or not as you can see right there he bites enough that the receiver gets up the field and isn't necessarily going for a one play touchdown i'm watching this guy if that cornerback bites outside a lot of times what really saved him is the fact that he ran back into him when he came back up the field both routes on the outside are essentially the same so either one of them really can't get open you're really just looking to see who gets the most separation on that first break and on this play it was once again scalding as we get our biggest play from this yet and you can see how it can happen on both sides as Kadarius Tony gets that same look of separation on the next play while on the other side he's covered so like I said these routes work very well you just have to watch for which one of these receivers actually gets the separation so that's that's the video if you guys want me to continue this series and have more videos like this in the future more glitch route videos out of different playbooks make sure to hit the like button let me know in the comment section and tell me which particular playbook you would like to see glitch routes from next I'm thinking either Lions or maybe the Cardinals are probably the most unique uh, and they're also some of the most used so like i said let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man Moish it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below